Um, hello folks, this is Dr. DeValley and uh, this video lecture is on the uh, paper assignment for the analysis of the uh, articles on uh, al alcoholism. Uh, first couple of uh, photos to lighten things up a bit. This is a picture of uh, Vicki and I, my lovely wife Vicki. We're uh, in ancient Pompeii, which is a, a town in Italy that was uh, uh, covered by the volcano uh, eruption of Vesuvius in 79 AD. So we're in front of a shop just sitting down, uh, taking a break from the, the hot sun. Now there was uh, drinking in Pompeii. Uh, on the left is a, a Roman wine jar. Uh, these were found all over the Mediterranean, wine grown, different parts of the Mediterranean were shipped all over. And the, the wine would be set in sort of a, a metal stand that it would sit in and they'd pour it out of there. And on the right is a, a little bar and a fast food shop. Uh, on the counter they would put um, bowls of hot food and stews and uh, people could uh, come bring their bowl from home, buy the stew, take it home, and uh, or you could eat it there and also of course they had wine and tables in the back. Um, fuel was very expensive uh, in ancient times uh, and uh, all because they burned wood and uh, also uh, upper stories of houses were wood so it was very dangerous. You couldn't make a fire in a house. So uh, people bought hot food outside and brought it home and then at home they would maybe have a salad and fruits to complement the uh, raw vegetables. Something like you may do today when you bring Kentucky Fried Chicken home uh, for dinner. This is a, a side street uh, in ancient Pompeii, uh, 79 AD. Notice they had sidewalks and the paving uh, is still there. Do you think our streets are going to be around in, uh, seven, in 2,000 years? Uh, those stones in the middle of the street, they were, the streets were designed so when they had heavy rains, uh, runoff water would go down the street. And uh, uh, to cross the street, you would be able to step on those stones to get from one side to the other. Also, the in ancient Rome, the uh, the chariots were degreed to be a certain axle width and carts had to be a certain axle width and they were designed to fit on the outsides of those stones in Roman streets so everything was really uh, you know quite uh, standardized. And this is a main street in Pompeii it's actually called uh, the street of um, uh, abundanza which means uh, the street of abundance and there you're looking at a row of, uh, of shops uh, that were off the street where people would, uh, would shop. So anyway, back to our paper and uh, back to the notion of drinking. Now, a thought paper is an analysis of data or information in an attempt to synthesize the main theme or perhaps uh, two themes captured in, in, in the information. So you're not, you want to synthesize, but also you need to analyze and critique uh, the data that you are synthesizing. In this case, the thought paper is based on the articles you have read in the lists of readings about different aspects of alcoholism cross-culturally. Now, the overall paper should be about uh, 14 pages plus one page for references. This is assuming a double space with one inch margins. Uh, in total, the paper needs to be at least 3,500 words. Uh, uh, that's what the requirement is. And the paper has two sections. The first section would be a short summary of each article you read, about a half a page per article summary. The second session will contain your thoughts and analysis of the articles. Uh, check the readings, discussion, and the assignment schedule for, the when, for when the paper is due. 
Okay, now it is important that the summaries and the analysis be in separate parts of the paper. The summaries you want in the first part, the analysis in the second part. The reason for this is you can't do analysis of each uh, pay article as you read it because one of the things I want you to do is look for some common themes that cut across all or many of the articles. So to do that you need to have the analysis uh, in one place at the end. Now again late papers are not accepted for any reason. Now this includes things like computer, disk, internet problems, sickness of you or others, death of you or others, war, terrorism, natural disasters, etc. You know from the first day of class when the paper is due, so prepare ahead for any uh, emergencies. Now, there, the articles you read fall into two types. The type 1 articles are usually based on some quantitative research. They usually involve a hypothesis testing. And so what do you want to cover in your summary of, is like what is the major thesis, theory, or theme of the article? If a hypothesis is, or a theory is tested, what is the main hypothesis? Hypothesis are usually structured like if A exists, then you'll find B, or A should affect B. Okay. And also, what are the key concepts, variables, that make up the hypothesis? For example, if the variable is chronic alcoholism, how does the author define it? And how were the variables measured? Did the author measure the concept present, absent, or number of drinks per day, uh, etc.? If some of the variables come from other studies, uh, what are they? And what is the sample that the author used? And what are the primary statistical results? Uh, was it, were they statistically significant differences found? Was there a correlation between variables? Was it strong or weak? And finally, what does the author conclude about the study? Now, the second type of article, type 2 article, is usually based on qualitative research, like an ethnographic study or an essay. If the article is an ethnographic or, or an essay, then you, what you need to summarize is what is the main purpose of the article, what were the main themes of the article, what was the study about, in other words, the location, the culture, the topic, etc., and what did the author conclude. Now, these article summaries should be in a paragraph form, about a half a page for each article. The analysis sections would be done together in the end of the paper, but for this part, uh, if an article is very important and you want to spend more time on it and more space, that's okay as, as well. Okay, now the analysis section. The analysis section of your paper is more open-ended, and I, I cannot put it into a formula of what you should do. But basically, it is an essay of what you have learned or see as important from the articles you have read. It should not be a summary of the articles. It needs to contain your thoughts and analysis. That is what you will be graded on in this section. Now, some ideas to you structure your analysis section are, based on your summaries of the article, was there a common theme found in at least three of the articles you read? Was a common problem, a common topic, etc.? And based on your summaries, what was a second or other common theme you found? Uh, it's rare you're going to find it for all the articles, but you, you'll find it for different groups. And also, how does culture, in terms of its rules, customs, or attitudes, affect behavior and attitudes towards oculism? And give examples of this uh, from the articles that you uh, have read. Now, you will need to give a full bibliographic citation for each reference you summarize at the end of the paper and use the American Psychological Association, the APA formatting. If you're not familiar with this, you can go to this website at uh, Purdue University and it'll explain it. And again, your total paper should be roughly 14 pages, uh, uh, 15 with the uh, title page, uh, 3,500 words is what I'm looking for. And the reference and cited section should look like uh, below the example uh, where I uh, I give the citation of an APA format of an article. 
And that's all, folks. Uh, uh, I will also upload a PDF version of uh, this slideshow so you can read the, the slides uh, in more detail if you wish. Uh, thank you.